with Read to Me, Mrs. C. Learning through reading is fun. Yippee! So let's open a book and we'll have an explore. The more that we read will mean you're learning more. Why, hello there. Welcome back to Read to Me, Mrs. C. Whenever I read a book, I feel joy inside. But do you want to know a secret? I feel even more joy and happiness inside when I read to you. That's right, because I'm sharing my love of reading with you. Today's story is another terrific one, so get yourself comfy cozy, because we're going to start reading now. Today's story is Curious George's First Day of School. Houghton Mifflin Harcourt is the publishing company for this book. Today's story is illustrated by Anna Grossnickel Hines. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George was so excited he could barely eat his breakfast. You have a big day ahead of you, George, said his friend, the man with the yellow hat. It was a big day for George. It was the first day of school, and he had been invited to be a special helper. George and his friend walked together to the schoolyard. Some of the children were nervous, but George could not wait for the fun to begin. In the classroom, George's friend introduced him to Mr. Apple. Thank you for inviting George to school today, the man with the yellow hat said to the teacher. Then he waved goodbye. Have a good day, George. I'll be back to pick you up after school. The children were excited to have a monkey in class. George is going to be our special helper, Mr. Apple told them. And what a helper he was. At story time, George held the book. At math time, the children could count on George. And at recess, George made sure everyone had a ball and a well-balanced snack. After lunch, Mr. Apple got out paints and brushes. George saw red, yellow, and blue paint. Three colors were not very many. George was curious. Could he help make more colors? First, George mixed red and blue to make purple. Next, George mixed red and yellow to make orange. Then, George mixed yellow and blue to make green. Finally, George mixed all the colors to make A big mess. The children thought the mess was funny, but Mr. Apple did not. Oh dear, he said. We are going to need something to clean this up. Everyone, please sit quietly while I look. George did not mean to make such a mess and he certainly did not want to sit quietly. He wanted to help. It was his job after all. George had an idea. In the hallway, George found a closet. In the closet, he found a bucket. 
In the bucket, he found just what he needed. A map! George was on his way back to the classroom when he heard somebody yell. Stop! Stop! What are you doing with my mop? The janitor ran after George. Stop! Stop! No running in the holes! The principal ran after the janitor. But George was going too fast to stop. He grabbed the doorway and swung inside and splash! The bucket tipped, the mop dropped, and George slid across the floor. Now the mess was even bigger. Mr. Apple looked surprised. The principal frowned. The janitor just shook his head. And George, poor George, he felt terrible. Maybe he was not such a good helper after all. The children felt terrible too. They did not like to see George looking so sad. They thought he was a great helper. Now they wanted to help him. So the children all lent a hand and some feet. And before anyone knew it, the mess was gone. That little monkey sure is helpful, the janitor said. It looks like Mr. Apple has a whole class full of helpers, the principal added. At the end of the day, when George's friend arrived to pick him up, Mr. Apple said, Thank you for all of your help, George. We hope you will come help us again. The children cheered. They hoped George would come again, too. George waved goodbye to his new friends. What a great day it had been. He could not wait to come back to school. I hope you enjoyed today's story as much as I did reading it to you. Push the like button if you did like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Then you'll have access to all the books that I've read and any new ones that I do in the future. Hey, do you remember how I told you that when I share a book with you, I feel even more joy? When you share with somebody else, it makes them happy and it makes you happy. Today, try sharing something with someone. Maybe you should even share a book together. Okay, I have to go now, but until I see you again, I would love for you to keep on reading.